Well, showers did not stop determined patriots who made their way to the National Academy for the Performing Arts on Tuesday morning to say their final farewell to the late President George Maxwell Richards. The former president's body arrived at Napa just before 10 a.m. after a procession which began at the University of the West Indies in St. Augustine. Among those paying their respects was talk show host George Umbala Joseph, who served alongside President Richards on the National Advisory Council back in 1981. Mr. Joseph said it was actually the late President Richards who reminded him of this when the pair last saw each other in 2005. Very good. And that was one of them because he the former president's body passed in front of the Queen's Royal College where he was once a student. The boys lined the pavement in anticipation as the procession made its way past the QRC and one student shared with us his thoughts on President Richards. And this school is a prestigious school. So I know that all I have to do is just study hard. Aliri Pro Vice Chancellor and St. Augustine Campus Principal Professor Brian Copeland praised the late President Professor George Maxwell Richards for his humility. Speaking to the media at the administration building in St. Augustine, the campus principal said Professor Richards was humble despite his stature. So many people take their qualifications as, as a stamp that carries them on high. And um, I, I think George Maxwell Richards is one that shows that it doesn't have to be like that. You, you could be a, among the people and for the people and help and leading people at the same time. You don't have to be like that. And I think that is a significant part of his, of his legacy. Humility and trying to understand people um, in terms of their difficulties, helping them through and so on. That is what we are supposed to be about. That's how we build a nation, actually. And we take you now to some live images from the National Academy for the Performing Arts in Port of Spain, where the body of former President George Maxwell Richards is lying in state. Now, today, members of the public are encouraged to go pay tribute to the former president. A condolence book has been opened at Napa so that through the course of the day, the general public can sign the condolence book as well as catch a glimpse of him in the casket. Now, just to remind you, CTV and Talk City 91.1 FM will be bringing live coverage of the third day of the state funeral for the former president. Tomorrow, the funeral service is scheduled to take place at Napa from 10 a.m. Now, the late president, Professor George Maxwell Richards, is responsible for what the UEFET is today. During his tenure at the campus, Principal Professor Richards changed the industry with his innovation helping artists and promoters. Now, during the UE St. Augustine drive through the body of the late president made stops at the Faculty of Engineering and the Administrative Building. Now, at the Administrative Building, several officials, including current campus principal Brian Copeland, signed the condolence book placed in front of the building. There, he told the media how the former campus principal changed the scope of the UE FET. Um, not only that, he, he, he worked with a team to, to um, create what we now recognize as UE's first innovation, all right? more than what Brian Copeland did, because it, it caused a social change, and that's what an innovation does. It, it's a new thing that brings benefit. At that time, FETs were just FETs. Um, they changed the whole, specter, the whole um, spectrum of FETs, um, the whole which, the way in which uh, people celebrate and entertain themselves at carnival time. Also speaking to reporters was the president of the UE Students Guild, Jonathan Nahus. He told the media the benefits UE FET had on the students funds raised from that, it goes towards the UE Development and Endowment Fund, which is set up to assist students in need students who can't afford to complete their education, who are struggling with tuition, and that over the years is continued. It's still something that's active, and that's really helped a lot of students to be able to get through something that they might not have otherwise been able to complete. So he really has left a lasting impact and a lasting legacy on our campus. Political scientist Dr. Hamid Ghani said that Professor George Maxwell Richards had a common touch in dealing with people. You could always count on some kind of supportive advice or counsel that he would give you. And, um, you know, it, it, it wasn't as though if you approached him as though you, you were approaching this big, almighty, huge um, official in the university. He had a very uh, common uh, touch about him, sort of. Dr. Ghani said we should emulate the humility and personality of former President Richards. Aspects of his personality that, that we could certainly emulate. Um, oftentimes we do get quite serious about a number of things 
and uh, the ability to to dial it down a little bit um, is always a good quality.